Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and in this session what we are going to learn. In this session we are going to detect a number plate with the help of YOLO 11 and then we are going to configure here Jam server and then we are going to send detected number plate text with the help of Pedal OCR we are going to read the number plate text and then we are going to send the data on our Jam server. So before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started so friends as i mentioned today we are going to uh, detect a number plate a car number plate and we are going to send detect and number plate text on our jam server we are going to use here yolo 11 also for text reading we are going to use here a paddle ocr so for that first just open thony python ide then go to the tools manage packages search for opencv-python hit enter it will search opencv-python first package click on install button done it will install opencv-python then we need ultra litics package ultra litics for yolo so hit enter first package click on install button done it will install ultra litics then we are going to install cv zone package cv zone hit enter first package click on install button done it will install cv zone so here i have already create a model and the model which i have used here which is the tf light format model so i have create the base model and i have convert the base model into tf light format for yolo 11 so for tf light format we need to install tensorflow so tensorflow tensorflow just click on search on pypy it will search for tensorflow select it first package click on install button done it will install tensorflow so this is how main packages opencv hyphen python ultralytics tensorflow and then cv zone search for cv zone package first package click on install button done it will install cv zone also so this is how we need to install basic packages opencv hyphen python ultralytics cv zone and tensorflow now we need a pedal ocr so pedal ocr first package pedal 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 this is the first package click on search on pypy first package select it click on install button that's it it will install pedal pedal package then we need pedal ocr package pedal ocr pedal ocr click on search on pypy first package just install and done it will install pedal ocr also so we have done with package installation process now as i mentioned i have already create a model so first let's just download our jam i have already downloaded jam setup.exe file you need to simply their uh, official website you can simply search jam on google and then hit their official website and then jam for windows this is the setup file just click on it and it will download our setup.exe file so i have already downloaded the setup.exe file simple as you can see it's now downloading but i have already downloaded setup.exe file simple so let me close all these things and if i open my download folder here it is as you can see this is what our setup.exe file so let's just double click on the setup.exe file then our installation is started as you can see here we want to simply click on ok then click on next click on next then click on next uh, this is not error because i have already configured the jam server so there is already folder available in c so if i go here here it is as you can see so i need to simply delete jam folder the old one folder and now we will again start click on next click on next click on next and now it's installing xamp on our windows 11 machine so meanwhile friends let's just download our repository so yolo 11 number plate xamp server i will mention the link you need to simply copy paste the link inside the web browser then go to the code click on download zip and it will download our zip format repository so as you can see we successfully download our repository so just open download folder again this is what our repository right click winrar extract as a folder name this is what our folder again same folder and as i mentioned let's just download our video file first so vid.txt copy the link copy it open web browser 
new tab, press Ctrl plus V, hit enter. Then it will open our Mega Cloud link. And then click on download button and it will download our video file. So friends, we successfully download our video file. Let's just close Mega Cloud link. Minimize all these things, close these things. And then go to the downloads, our video file. Just move the video file inside our main folder. And this is what our video file, tc.mp4. If I click on the video file, let's just play our video file first. And as you can see, there is a cars. And as I mentioned, I have already created a tier flight model for detecting number plate. It will detect the number plate. And with the help of pedal OCR, we are going to extract the text. And then we are going to send the text on our database server, MySQL server, Jam server. Okay, simple. So this is what our video file. Now let's just watch our setup. Remember one thing friends, meanwhile Xamp installation, it will ask for a firewall access. So just click on allow access, just click on allow access, just set full permission, simple. Then just click on finish and we have done. Now this is was our control panel. And here simply start Apache server, then start MySQL server. That's it. Now if you open your web browser and let's just hit 127.0.0.1 slash php myadmin hit enter and as you can see uh, this is what our php admin page done. Now let's just minimize all these things and as I mentioned this is what our tf light model this is what our coco1.txt file where I have mentioned the custom class which is the number plate and server.py. So server.py is basically for creating the connection with our database, MySQL server. So here it is, as you can see, host is 127.0.0.1. Then username, uh, user is basically root and uh, password. There is no password. So just empty the password section. Then database name is basically number plate. And by default port is basically 3306 for MySQL server. Done. And then it will send the number plate as a text. Then I need a current date and current time. Means when we detected text, in that time we are saving their text, number plate text, and the current date and current time inside our MySQL database server. So this is what our server.py code. And here we have main.py. So from server means from server.py from server. So for that from server, we will call our function, which is manage number plate DB function, this one. Manage number plate DB function. That's it. And then we have paddle OCR. So first, of course, with the help of our model, here it is, as you can see, I have mentioned the model. This is what our video file. So with the help of model, we are going to detect number plate, then pedal OCR. So for pedal OCR, this is the function. This is the function for text. So we need to pass our crop image. When we detect the number plate, we will crop the number plate. And then we will send the number plate image inside this perform OCR function. And it will return our text, number plate text. And then we will send the text inside our manage DB. So here it is, as you can see. Here we are cropping our image. Then we are sending the image inside, inside perform OCR function, which is our pedal OCR function, which need image. And then we are going to here, just un uncomment this line. Manage number plate DB is basically our database function. And inside that, we will pass our text. And then it will go for further process. Then it is really easy. So let's just save the code. If I start the code, we have already done with package installations. We have OpenCV, we have Ultralytics, we have CVZone, we have TensorFlow Pedal Pedal, and Pedal OCR also. Simple. So it will start our frame. And as you can see, this is what our frame. So here it is, friends. I have mentioned the region of interest area with the help of polyline. So for polyline, if you follow my old videos, then you definitely know we have here cv 2eventmousemove function. With the help of this function, it is really easy to get x, y coordinates for drawing line or polyline. So here we will uh, draw a polyline. So let's just say I just want to draw the polyline from here. So 
this is what my first time so if i move my cursor over here so we have basically cv2 dot event mouse move function so with the help of this function we will easily get the xy coordinate inside shell so let's just say here the coordinate is 7181 here it is as you can see i have mentioned 5180 then the next coordinate if i go here 3249 then this is the next coordinate 98437 then this is the last coordinate which is 950168 as you can see 950168 so this is how with the help of cv2.event mouse move function you can simply mention your area region of interest area like this way first coordinate xy second coordinate xy then the third coordinate xy and then the last xy coordinate simple and this is what now my area and the coordinates and then here with the help of cv2.polyline we will mention the np.array then area np.in32 true and the color blue and the thickness too that's why the polyline is in blue color simple and then then we need detected tech, uh, sorry not text we need detected number plate center point so for that we have rectangle coordinates x1 y1 x2 y2 so cx is equal to x1 plus x2 divided by 2 cy is equal to y1 plus y2 divided by 2 this is how most easiest way we will get our cx and cy now we have the center point for detected number plate so simply we can call our cv2 dot point polygon test method so cv2 dot point polygon test method for that we need our area so what is our area our area is this this method this is the method this is what our area so we need to copy paste the thing means from np array to here np dot in 32 just copy as it is and mention here inside cv2 dot point polygon test method as it is just copy as it is and then the center point so what is our center point our center point is basically cx and cy mention the cx and cy then false and now the result of cv2 point polygon test method is if the center point means if detected object let me open the frame if detected object center point if it is inside the area we have one and if it is outside area we have minus one so we need our one because we want to detect our number plate if the number plate inside our area so if the one so for that if result if it is greater than or is equal to zero means it is one then only we are going to crop our frame then we are going to call our perform ocr function for extracting the number plate text and then we are going to send our text inside our database as simple as now let's just start our code uh, we have already started the code now let's just skip the frame one by one manually first and we'll cross check if we have entry inside our database so here it is as you can see we only detect first number plate and we can clearly see the number plate text is 752GJR uh, 0752GJR so we open here our uh, PHP my admin and if I refresh the page and then we have here it is as you can see we create a number plate database if you open our server.py so our uh, database name is number plate as you can see so here we have our number plate database we just created if you just click on the database again inside that we have number plate uh, table and inside that table as you can see this is what our first number plate 0752 gjr current date and current time current time is 1456 so if i open the frame just cross match 0752 gjr is there now let's just go for next number plate so we detected second number plate just refresh the php my admin and we have our second number plate their current date current time also we have the id so and we i have created the counter also we count here two vehicles two cars and the number plate 2835bsy 2835bsy it means we are successfully detecting the text with the help of pedal ocr also we are we successfully create our database and we are sending our detected number plate text inside our 
database now let's just start our while loop here i need to mention in main.py i need to mention one it will start our while loop let's just start code again now we have double entry for uh, first two number plate because we have already uh, mentioned the entry first number plate detected first car second second counter three now if you check here just refresh the php myadmin database as you can see we have all the number plate entries inside our database our database name is number plate our table name is number plate and inside that number plate table we create number plate entry date and entry time simple so let's just refresh the last entry 1457 1458 last entry we have done refresh the page 1458 is the last entry and the number plate is there i have mentioned the full code with model also i hope you will learn something from this video we'll meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye